Hello fellow 1-6 scale collectors, this is Bash, I've got another Hot Toys review and this as you can see is for the Dark Knight Rises Bane figure. Now I must say I'm absolutely sweltering, I live in, uh, in Bolton in Manchester and throughout the UK at the moment we're on a bit of a mini heat wave and it is absolutely freaking boiling. So why am I sat inside doing a Hot Toys review, I've got no idea, but you can just look outside now, I've got my washing out. And that's how, that's how sunny it is. It's absolutely boiling. So I've got no idea why I'm doing this. But I've not done one in a while, so I thought I'd get one out there. Because um, I'm, uh, I'm not going to be doing one. I'm going to be away for about a week after this. So I won't have a chance. So I thought I'd get one done now. Anyway, I digress. So yeah, this is a Dark Knight Rises Bane figure. Um, just a quick look at the packaging, as per usual. It's only a small packaging, this one. Hot Toys information on the back and when you open it up like so you just get that little uh, that little bit there saying let the games begin and obviously when, underneath there is the plastic packaging which holds the uh, figure so yeah pretty basic packaging for this one I would imagine the Catwoman one when that gets released is going to be uh, the same one um, obviously it looks like a picture of Catwoman Catwoman there um, big shout out to the good, the bad and the robots where I got the uh, the pre-order for the Catwoman as you know with Model Zone going bust I had quite a lot of pre-orders in Model Zone uh, couldn't find the Catwoman one anyway but obviously found it on the good, the bad and the robots so big thanks to Lee Ward there obviously it's not been released yet but we'll, uh, we'll obviously be doing a review on that when it gets here so yeah, there's the packaging now let's have a look at the figure so here he is, Bane Quick once up and down. Really nice piece this, really nice head sculpt. I'll just uh, get it a bit closer to the uh, to the head for you if I can. There. The mask, obviously the mask is fixed on, you can't take the mask off unfortunately. But it is a really nice head sculpt. You can see, well you probably can't see, but if I just turn it around there, you can see the veins there. So they've obviously done a lot, put a lot of detail into it. And some on the other side as well, I think. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I've got no idea how to do that, but that is really good. And I also like, just while we're around the back of it, you can see he's got this little scar running down the back of his neck which I really like unfortunately there's no um, parallel eyeball, eyeball rolling system in this one which I think would have been nice if we could have had his uh, moving his eyes a little bit but you can't have everything um, quite a bit of articulation in the arms there's been a lot of talk about this figure and one of the main complaints regarding it is regarding the arms now as you know one of the main poses that Bane does is when he holds on to his straps there he tends to do that quite a lot in the film unfortunately with this figure you can't do it that is that is like sort of the, the most articulation you can you can sort of get um, if you buy another one of the true type bodies, I think, I can't remember which one it is, but one of the muscular ones, there's also, there's like another joint part here. If you look on the Clipper Kings videos, he's got a video of that where he, um, he swapped it over. So he's actually got the figure posed with it actually holding on to that part there. Um, unfortunately, I don't feel confident enough to do that myself because this is quite fiddly, this, um... There's obviously all these straps on the back of it and I'd, the last thing I'd want to do is start pissing about, taking them all off and then not be able to get it back on again. It's not much of a bind, I don't mind it that much. It would have been nice but I'll see, I might think about it and think about getting the, uh, the other body and swapping everything over. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice figure. Another complaint is regarding the knees the knees bend about there but 
those knee pads don't actually go over the knees. It's only a small gripe. You can pull them down like so. I mean, it's not really going to be much of an issue, but if you look at the uh, the actual film, it's a bit further down, I think. Nice boots, lovely boots. Um, quite not too much articulation. You've got left and right, and that's it really. So you you can't really do much else other than the basic left and right. So yeah, so there you go. Quick look at the figure. What we will do, we will have another look at the accessories that come with it and then after that we will put it in the pose that I've got it in when I've got it on display. So let's have a look at the accessories. So this is uh, the accessories that come with this figure. As usual you get the Hot Toys instructions, just telling you how to take off the vest, put on the sash, how to change the jacket and the sweater obviously I'll show you them very shortly and obviously the gauntlets just mention the gauntlets this figure comes with two gauntlets it comes with one where you can put the um, you can put the thumb through like that so I'm not going to put Obviously you get the idea, you put the thumb through like that. And then there's another gauntlet that doesn't have that, that hole in that just wear. I'm not too sure why um, one's got a hole in and one hasn't. I'm not too sure about that, but there you go. So you get two gauntlets. You get the usual spare pegs. That comes with most hot ties. And obviously I saw it showed you the figure which had the open palms. You obviously got two fists, a left fist, uh, sorry, that was the right fist, left fist and a right fist, and like a gripping sort of hand on that one, and a similar sort of hand there. The base, quite a lot of the Hot Toys bases now are made to reflect the actual figure itself, and this is obviously no exception. As you can see, it says Bane there. Uh, obviously, it's got like a rusted effect, made to look like the uh, in the in the Dark Knight Rises where he fights Batman um, on that walkway. I think it's meant to look like the underground walkway, sort of sewer type place, which is very rusty. Obviously, you can see he's got the uh, the Dark Knight symbol there. So pretty basic. It doesn't light up. No light up. Anything like that. Just basically stand stand up, and obviously you've got your, uh, your usual crotch grabber, as I like to call it. It comes with a broken Batman cowl. Um, if I just bring this closer, see if I can just... Now as you can see, if I just direct it towards it like that, it's got like a, a sprinkly effect to it. it. Looks like a water effect, which I think is really good. Obviously in that scene, he's underwater and obviously everything's getting covered in water, so I think that's a really nice effect, that. I have normally just keep it on display like that. Obviously here, I've not took this out of the bag, but this is the uh, the sweater that was mentioned in the uh, instructions, which is that one there. Obviously you can put the sweater on him. I probably won't ever display him with that. I just think it's a bit faffy. I don't think it looks properly like Bane if he wears that, to be honest, but that's just my opinion. And also you get the jacket. Really nice jacket, this. Uh, really nice attention to detail you got some poppers there that keep that back um, it feels like a leather material I don't know whether it is or not but it does feel really nice obviously the uh, the pockets don't open um, but inside it's like the same material looks like the same material from the film and obviously this is one I have on display, I have him wearing the uh, and the jacket. So yeah, there you go, quick look at the accessories. Not much to it. It's not a DX figure. Just basic stuff that comes with it. So what we'll do, we'll wrap the video up and uh, I'll show you with the, uh, the figure um, how I like to pose him. So this is how I normally have the figure on display, my details. Just with the, uh, with the leather jacket on and his arms displayed out wide like as a beckoning someone to come and uh, have a fight with him as if you would um, and I also like to have the little back cowl 
on the uh, on the stand there. I'll just see if I can get a bit of a uh, closer close up for you if I can. And you can see it's a really nice uh, really nice jacket. Those menacing eyes, look at those eyes. So there we go, that's the Bane figure. What I'll do is I'll just put the, uh, I always like to do send them my videos, I don't know why, I just like doing it. Put the packaging next to it. And that is the Dark Knight Rises Bane figure. Just while I'm, um, I've got this video running, I just want to give a big shout out to Pete Leaney, who uh, is one of my subscribers and I'm subscribed to him. I was, um, he put on a video the other day of the Iron Man Mark 7 from the Avengers, so uh, if you get a chance, go and watch that video, uh, and I put a comment about on it about I had it for pre-order on Model Zone, but couldn't get it anymore, and he made the suggestion to go to Toy HQ, which I did, which I've been on before, but I didn't think on going on it again. Uh, went on it again and saw that they had the, uh, the Iron Man Mark 7 and the Hulk on up, oh, they had some new pre-orders in, so I managed to get pre-orders for both the Hulk and the Iron Man Mark 7, so a big thanks Pete for that, um, hopefully when I get those videos, I'll, um, sorry, when I get those figures, I'll be able to do some uh, reviews on them, the other thing that concerning me is the, um, the Hulk figure, is I'm not too sure it'll fit in my, de my details, um, Pete said that there was a, a fix or something, where you can do something with some clips, but I've been searching the internet, I can't find it just yet, but no big uh, no big worry, if obviously punch comes to shove, push comes to shove, sorry, I'll just have to put it on top of the details. But just looking at my details actually, just while I'm here, I've got a feeling it might fit in the bottom one, down there, I'm not too sure yet. It might have to go in a bit of a crouching position, but it might fit down there, or if not, I'll just have to, uh, I'll just stick it on there. But not to eat. But yeah, so thanks again for that, Pete. Um, things with these Hot Toys figures is cost so much bloody money. I want to start selling. Me t I think I'll have to sell my child and one of my kidneys to start um, getting enough money for these figures. I think after the uh, after the Hulk um, and the Iron Man Seven, I've got currently I've got Odin on the way. I've got uh, T One Thousand on the way. I've got pre-orders for Catwoman, Loki, uh, Hulk, and I am on Mark 7. So I think after that I'm going to have to have a rest until at least probably after Christmas because my bank balance is uh, not going to be able to manage it. But there you go, so I digress. So yeah, Bane, Dark Knight Rises, really nice figure. Uh, really, what I'll do is when I do the review of the, um, the Batman DX12, I'll put them both together just so you can see how they look. Uh, but other than that, Big thanks for watching the video. Um, if you're a new, subs new new watcher, please subscribe. Or, or if you're already a subscriber, thanks for watching. Give it a like. Uh, give it a comment. Um, and yeah, thanks very much. And I'll see you next time.